I'm back. This time I'm at home. But I felt like we needed to have an update because this morning I posted a video while I was driving, maybe not the best plan, about how hipsters are ruining the coffee shops in America. And I mean, I, I feel that way. However, we have to change this together. Hipsters, we're coming for you. Okay, so after my situation where my friend and I had to go to a restaurant to have coffee this morning, since the hipsters had taken up all of the tables in all the coffee shops in our entire city, basically. See previous video if you'd like the story about that. Um, I decided to meet my husband for lunch. So I was downtown and um, it just, I decided to meet my husband for lunch. So we went to lunch at this place that's really delish, caviar and bananas. Anyway, we went to lunch there and I have to be honest, it's kind of a hip place. It's kind of hip. And so there was hipsters there. <laughs> I feel like I have this total, I have a hipster vendetta right now. Um, but the place was packed out because it was lunchtime, which is an appropriate thing to have happen. A restaurant get packed out at lunchtime. But there were a lot of people who were sitting two people at a four tables, or two, two people at a four top table. And there was just nowhere to sit. And it's cold outside today. So, um, I mean, you know what I decided to do. You know what I did. I walked up to this one table that had two girls and I asked if uh, we could sit at the other side of their table and they had other people coming. So then I found another table that had just four people. Um, but it was like on this long bench, you know, like they have the long bench and then there's the table, the table, the table. So it was right there and there's these like two gals sitting at one side and there's two other spots. So I walked up to that table and I was like, is anyone sitting in these two seats? I mean, it was totally at a table with them, but we didn't have anywhere to sit and we had our lunch. So I just asked if we could sit there and they were like, okay, sure. And then I started staring at this lady and I was like, you look so familiar somehow. And she said, you look familiar somehow too. So I asked her her name and it turns out y'all, I had been to her house like 10 years ago, like forever ago. I had been to her house and it was with her daughter. I was like, you have a daughter. And she went to where I went to boarding school. And then the daughter who's like a grown adult, there is she goes me and so anyway my little adventure of like sitting in awkward spaces I totally ran into someone that I had known once upon a time how funny is that but I think I've decided um, that I'm about to wage war on the hipster community and here's what I'm gonna do I'm even gonna tell you what I'm doing I'm even telling you hipsters what I'm doing I'm gonna come sit with you even if there's an open table, if you're sitting at a table with four people and you're working, I might just start working outside of my house, even though I have a great office. I might start working outside of my house just so I can sit with hipsters who are working. Because once upon a time, people used to go to coffee shops and hang out and have coffee and meet a friend. And some of us still do that. Probably the 32 and over group of people or also girls, girls do this. But dudes, you're the problem. In your beanies and in your earbuds and your plaid lumberjack shirts, I'm coming to sit with you. I'm coming for you. And we're gonna have coffee and we're gonna either ignore each other or have a little chat, but we're gonna work in the same spot at the same table. And that way people who wanna hang out with their friends have room. So, I'm coming for you. Boop.